Many types of medical and biological testing require a device called a flow cytometer. Flow cytometers can identify thousands of cells per second and separate them by their fluorescent and optical properties. Current equipment, however, is expensive and non-portable. Our research is working toward realizing smaller, cheaper, and higher performing alternatives. By using polarizers as filters and a microfluidic device the size of a glass slide, we can count and sort different cell types in the same way as commercial cytometers. Using these polarization filters combined with frequency discrimination, measurements can be made in ambient light, and multiple types of cells can be measured simultaneously. This simpler, smaller, cheaper, and more portable device could lead to greater accessibility in remote areas, as well as opportune and important use in point-of-care settings. Most of the information that is transmitted over the internet goes on optical fiber. Enormous amounts of information can fit on fiber because it can carry many different wavelengths at the same time, with each wavelength carrying many gigabytes of information. This information is carried by semiconductor lasers, with each laser producing a stream of modulated light that travels miles and miles down an optical fiber. Current semiconductor lasers are made with quantum wells, which are very sensitive to temperature and have wavelengths that vary depending on the operating conditions. The Klotzkin Group is developing new materials for semiconductor lasers. In collaboration with MCOR, a semiconductor laser company, we are working on developing single wavelength semiconductor lasers based on quantum dots. These devices should be less temperature sensitive and have less wavelength variation or chirp than conventional sources. They might work uncooled and harsh environments, which will lead to lower cost data transmission. In addition, the lower chirp may lead to higher performance analog or digital transmission. Other areas of Professor Klotzkin's work also address energy efficiency. Rather than using the glowing tungsten used in incandescent light bulbs, organic materials can be used for both efficient light and displays in electronics. This area of research focuses on the development of organic light emitters on both glass and flexible substrates, as well as coatings to improve the phosphor efficiency in LED lighting to reduce reflection and increase clarity. These organic sources can also be integrated directly with electronics or microfluidics for many unique applications.